Okay, everybody. Uh, so hopefully you've been following along. You've gone through the entire tutorial. We've downloaded all the software and everything we needed, and we've shut down the Pi. So we're not going to need our laptop anymore. We can get that out of the way. Uh, and realistically, uh, now that uh, we've gotten everything all set, we're going to need minimal keyboard control over here and no mouse. So we're going to unplug this and I'm going to bring the monitor in here and we're going to do a practical test. So everything that we programmed, we put in there. Uh, should boot up automatically. Whenever you do shut down the uh, Raspberry Pi chip, always try to do so from the Raspberry Pi menu or um, even uh, from the uh, uh, command line at terminal with uh, sudo shutdown. So we, we're powering it up. Uh, the monitor is coming on. Uh, when the monitor comes on, it should load into the GUI. Uh, and then that's the pixel browser uh, that we've been doing all our work in so far. Once it loads into the pixel browser, what's going to happen is it's going to start reading those auto commands. And the first one that it's going to read is for the slideshow script. Uh, that slideshow script, which is using uh, Xprint idle, is then going to start counting to 60 seconds. And as long as the mouse is not moving, uh, that'll uh, then activate. The second script that we had in there was for Chromium to go into kiosk mode. Uh, and here we see uh, we booted right up. Uh, we've got the Chromium starting. It's full screen. The third uh, command we had under that auto start was the unclutter. And that's what removes the mouse. So now that we're in full screen mode, we can see it loaded right up to our calendar. So the calendar is accessible uh, with Aiden, uh, with uh, uh, my wife Liz, they can all go in there, they can add things, it'll come up here automatically. There's no reason to touch it. It all happens online. They can do it on their iPhones or uh, their Android phones or even their computer if they want. So we can see what everybody's looking at. Now we've got a, a solid place where everybody can put their information that comes up. The second test uh, of this is to see if after that 60 seconds, the slideshow is gonna kick in. And the slideshow, we're using Google Docs, We've got our uh, picture frame folder up there and you can put uh, any pictures you want in there at any time. You can put them in, you can take them out. Uh, it'll constantly update. Uh, that makes this completely headless. All it's gonna need is a Wi-Fi connection and a power plug. So fingers crossed, we're getting close to our month and our slideshow started up. Very exciting. So now the slideshow was started up and it's going to go through all those slides that we put in there. Um, now the way that the slideshow is running is that if we wanted to get out of the slideshow, we press the escape key. So pressing the escape key uh, removes us from the slideshow. Uh, that's going to be important because in part two of this tutorial, when we do plug in our GPIO pins uh, to our motion sensor, we're going to have the motion sensor script press escape when it sees motion in a proximity or close proximity to the screen. And that's gonna mean people, hey, I walked in front of the screen, I wanna take a look at it, and then we move away, it's gonna to go to the slideshow. Uh, this is a very successful test. We're getting through part one here. Uh, if you do wanna get out of the calendar, uh, you're gonna press Control Alt F2. Uh, that's gonna bring you into uh, the terminal window, in which case just log in as you normally would uh, with your username uh, and password. Uh, and then we're still in the terminal. If you wanna get back to the um, uh, GUI, you can type in start X, and then that's gonna load in the GUI, but it's gonna load it in where we don't go into the uh, Chromium um, kiosk mode. So I'm very excited that this worked out great. Um, and next time we're gonna put the Pi behind the screen. We're gonna put a frame around the screen. We're gonna get all our cords all set up. So the only thing we have going to the screen is gonna be a power cord. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're gonna check in for part two next time when we're gonna clean it all up and we're gonna put it on the wall. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.